<laughs> I don't even care if this tastes like a load of shit. I just love the word. Okay, so this is obviously a dessert. Oi, eu sou a Mamarra e hoje eu convidei alguns dos meus amigos gringos que moram aqui na Irlanda para provar rocambole de doce de leite. Hum, delícia! Mas antes eu tenho um recadinho para você. Porque eu tenho certeza que muita gente que acompanha o nosso canal já cogitou ou tem muita vontade de morar fora ou fazer um intercâmbio no exterior. E todo mundo que vai fazer intercâmbio ou morar fora precisa de uma acomodação. E uma coisa que a gente vê acontecendo muito é que as pessoas vêm para cá, por exemplo, para Irlanda, e elas não sabem quais são os direitos dela na hora de alugar uma casa, uma acomodação aqui no país. Por isso, eu queria falar para vocês rapidinho sobre a Threshold, uma instituição que foi fundada em 1978 e trabalha justamente com isso, sobre os direitos de quem paga aluguel aqui na Irlanda. Eles criaram uma campanha chamada Own Your Rights, ou Saiba os Seus Direitos, que visa justamente educar e ensinar as pessoas que alugam aqui na Irlanda, sejam elas de qual nacionalidade for, sobre quais são os direitos delas e se elas estão sendo injustamente afetadas pela crise imobiliária que está acontecendo aqui na Irlanda. A gente fez um artigo em parceria com eles, que está publicado lá no nosso site. Eu vou deixar o link aqui embaixo na descrição para você. Agora, bora lá ver o que, que os nossos amigos gringos acharam do rocambole de doce de leite da Padoca. Inclusive, obrigadíssimo pro pessoal da Padoca que mandou essas comidinhas deliciosas para os nossos amigos gringos provarem hoje. Hum. É genial. Double food in a do. Happy days. So I'm Sam. Cool. So you have in front of you Baba. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands <laughs> and from London. And I'm Daniel. I'm from Waterford in Ireland. I'm up again for another dish. I'm really excited. I'm hoping it's. You're probably noticing, guys, if uh, you're watching these videos consecutively, you can see me getting further and further and deeper and deeper into the chair, <laughs> falling into the ground with the depth of beautiful Brazilian snacks falling into my belly. So this one, one is. A gift from Padaka. So Padaka, thank you. Padaka is giving you. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh I like this word. Rockambol? The. Code. Hockamboli. Yeah? Yeah! Rockambole de. Doce de Lite? Hockamboli. Hockey holy. Hippie hoppy. <laughs> Facey bookie you eat you be. I'm thinking it's milky because leche. Yeah. Yeah, I'm because thinking well. I was thinking, I know it's Spanish, like the yeah. leche, but. Have you tried that? No, uh, uh, this is, you probably kn know what it is. If you, the Spanish version is dulce de leche. I don't even care if this tastes like a load of shit. I just love the word. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It's a cake. It's a cake. Okay, so this is obviously a dessert. Yes. Okay. And it's a rollade. The thing in the, in the middle is the dulce de leche, which is a very very popular sweet in Brazil and in Argentina. In Argentina, they put inside the alpha jars. But Daka, like, I have aspirations to go back to the gym one of these days. <laughs> Holy mother of Jesus. Rock and ball. Rule it. You're like, please don't like it so I can have the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had this already because this is a big chunk. He's a big boy. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. That's so big. I maintain, why the hell aren't you guys all wandering around like this? <laughs> It blows my mind. Caramel? That's really nice. Like, I'm not a sweet tooth, but that's, that's pretty tasty. Please tell me that if there are eight people in the room that you're all gonna share from this same hock and bowly, hock and holy, please tell me, like, you don't get like an individual slice of this. I'll say the first one tastes a bit lemony. Or maybe my mind's just gone weird. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Is it too sweet? Is it uh no. just right? No, I don't think it's too sweet at all. How is the taste? The taste is bloody magnificent. It's also the let you can never go wrong. Is that the kind of thing you do like you grab like in the morning, maybe a breakfast? No, I do. <laughs> It'd be the kind of thing I would reach for in the cardiac department of a local hospital. I would say for me, I'd have like a slice of this at the weekend with my like coffee. No, oh, yeah, like is it, can I say like the conden like condensed milk or is it something else? Like, it's, it's a I, know it's in, I know it's in a lot of the desserts, condensed milk. Yeah. Like nearly every dessert I've got told, oh yeah, there's condensed milk, there, there, there. It's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. So it's bad for me. <laughs> As I said, I know I, I need to hit the gym again. I'm not exactly a, like a, a lean green fighting m machine these days, but I wouldn't be able to finish that. <laughs> 
is there anybody on this road? How many houses are on this road? Like, do you want to like maybe just chop this up and like invite it to your neighbors or something like that? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's coming into winter. Be like a good neighbor. Maybe give them a little bit of chocolate. Yeah. A little bit of, you know, oh my God. Guys, it's stunning. I'm, I'm speechless, but I'm just putting myself in the shoes of how this is divided up when you're in a social gathering. It's very tasty. It's amazing. But from my Irish eyes, I would be helping myself and I would be dividing it into tiny little squares and I'd be offering people on little plates. So if people would like to see you come back and maybe try more food in the future, what should they do? I mean, they already know what to do. They gotta put hashtag Volta Baba or, or Volta Daniel. If but like Volta to Sam. Back, make sure you get yourselves online, get yourselves in person with Padoka in conjunction with Uber Eats. Get yourself in there. Just get in there to Padoka in conjunction with Uber. See you later.